This is everyone. Everyone has their own story and carries their own issues. Some people have experiences of domestic violence, homelessness, childhood trauma, or combat trauma. Some people have a mixture of a few different experiences, which shape how they feel and how they move through the world. Meet Lucinda. Lucinda is a mother of two young children. Lucinda has unfortunately experienced domestic violence. Due to this experience, she has started using alcohol to cope. Child safety became involved and removed her children from her care. Lucinda became homeless and is now at a point where she doesn't know what to do. This is Ben. Ben identifies as an Aboriginal man. Like Lucinda, he is experiencing tough times which started in his childhood. Ben has been experiencing homelessness for the last few years, and he recently was incarcerated for six months. Once he was released, he's found it hard to find work and a safe place to stay. He started using alcohol and cannabis to cope. Lastly, this is Amy. Amy unfortunately carries experiences of childhood sexual abuse by a family member. Amy was diagnosed with bipolar disorder when she was 18. She identifies as LGBTQIA+, and has been having a hard time lately, which has led her to start using methamphetamines. While all three individuals have different backgrounds and experiences, the weight of the issues they carry has led them to jump into the pool of alcohol and drug addiction. While they are struggling to stay afloat in this pool, some services have tried to throw them a lifeline. Mental health services have reached out to Amy, which has helped her for a little while, but when her other issues became too complex, they were not able to support her. Lucinda reached out to a domestic violence service, which provided some resources and counseling for her DV-related matters, but she still needed lots of support for her issues with child safety, addiction, and homelessness. Thankfully, our three individuals find out about Vinny's AOD services. They complete the intake process and board the boat of recovery. Our team shows them how to paddle themselves. Together, we identify the end goal, and together, we work towards reaching that goal throughout the 12-week residential rehabilitation program. Throughout the journey, each person will face different issues. With the right referrals and supports, the individuals are able to separate the issues they carry from who they are. Now, they are not weighed down. They can neatly pack their issues away in a bag and carry that alongside them. With the Holistic Recovery Program, they learn life skills to cope with their situations. They participate in specialized equine therapy, yoga and meditation, art therapy, and more. They work one-on-one -on -one with client outcome facilitators to identify their individual goals and challenges and work towards achieving or overcoming them. They can start to volunteer their time to help others in need. After 12 weeks, the individuals are supported to rejoin the crowd. They will have a safe place to stay, new life skills, and many new opportunities to explore.